independent elements, we do a um, large spectrum of industrial heating equipment. We don't do too much domestic equipment. That's pretty much um, all imported. Our customer base is, like I said, we've got a broad spectrum. It's, it's yeah. a plastics industry, it's a foundry industry, it's an automotive industry, mm -hmm. First National Battery, Metal, Fosco, um, Mintech, who do research and development. And then again, the small guy who wants to just a one-off element to take home and bend up to design a smoke or a braai or something like that. Because we're so diverse, we haven't got all our eggs in one basket. Um, you know, if I did work for Sassel, say, and Sassel go on strike, um, I won't lose 30% of my turnover because of it. So with me having a broad spectrum um, of different industries, I'm not affected so much by the economy or by one particular sector of the economy going on straight. At the moment, we see the economy slowing down, um, but I think it's a general, it's a general thing. Mines have a big influence on the economy. There's a lot of guys, they, they supply the mines, they will buy from somebody, somebody will buy for us, and then the chain of supply. So we have found this month, particularly as is not up to budget, but from the beginning of the year up to now, we, we haven't had a problem. But in the future, I'm not too confident. Nanotechnology or nanocarbon technology is, is going to be big in the heating industry. There's a lot of development going on regarding um, nanotechnology. And whereas we traditionally work with a wire, a heating metallic wire, nanotechnology works with carbon fibers. Your application and the way we will make elements will greatly change. So um, within, I, I would say within maybe three to five years, 2020, there will be a, a, a great development in the way products are used and made for the heating industry. Mm -hmm.